Yorkshire's farming landscape has been shaped by the EU and the raging argument over whether to leave or remain is now dividing this community. At Skipton Market they say every farmer needs a buyer and the EU is the world's largest agricultural trader. Many fear losing that, along with subsidies so large they make up 55% of UK farm income. Farmers do get quite a lot of support from they the do, EU. Yeah. yeah, they do get quite a lot of support. Where's that money going to come from if they come out of the EU? A lot of farmers though complain about the regulations and the red tape of the EU. Is that not a problem? It's, it's a problem, but it can work around them. UK farm exports have more than doubled over the last decade, but EU membership isn't just about selling into Europe, because the EU has also used its global influence to do trade deals all around the world. But this debate isn't just about what leaves the farms, it's also about who arrives. These workers are from Romania. Seasonal agriculture often makes it hard to find UK employees. Just come for a job. And uh, this job was uh, the one that uh, I found. And uh, it's all right, it's OK, I like it. The EU's freedom of movement isn't the only reason that here they want to stay in. We're dealing every day with suppliers from Holland, from Germany, from Ireland, all over Europe. We export more than 12 billion pounds of agricultural products into Europe each year. Yet some farmers say an escape would bring benefits. We take a risk in all sorts of, in all sorts of businesses. Um, agriculture is one of the biggest risks because, you know, we're dependent about, about what, what's, above us, uh, what's above us. But, you know, I, I do feel that British agriculture is a big, strong brand. We can cope without Europe and, 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 and what Europe gives us, really. 38% of all UK lamb is exported to other European countries. 73% of Britain's total farm output goes in the same direction. And yet, perhaps surprisingly, there are plenty of people like George in this industry who are in favour of leaving the EU. We, we are too reliant on the subsidies that we get. Um, and sometimes that really hinders people's, within the agricultural industry, hinders people's, uh, you know, sort of entrepreneurial flair, really. And if farmers do become more resourceful, George thinks food prices could drop. Others say they'll rise without the EU and its subsidies. A community that's used to being shaped by the shifting seasons now faces a decision that could bring much more change in future. Chris Choi, News at 10, North Yorkshire.